Not trading, not trading, not trading. Not trading. Jesse Livermore. You don't make money trading. You make money sitting. Warren Buffett. The market is a place where wealth transfers from the impatient to the patient. Bruce Lee. It is not about accumulation, but elimination. The path towards culmination ultimately leads to simplicity. Now, I know you've heard most of these quotes, so I may be just repeating them for my own sake. Nevertheless, this concept, I'll clarify in a minute, is what pulled me out of my drought this year. I wasn't making money, I wasn't losing money, but I was leaving major money on the table by deviating from my plan, mind you, not because it hit my TP and kept running, but I was cutting my winners early. That's a scarcity mindset. Some call this PL watching. This was clamping my energetic capital as well. Oddly, it was a loop, a vicious cycle, because I was still thinking about my last trades, so I felt a sense of less than, less than my best, less than less capital than is ideal. I, I made less than I could have. My energy, therefore, began to become less than because my thoughts said less than. So my energy began to feel less than because my thoughts were consumed with less than. Now, I don't wanna make this video short and sweet, or I do wanna make this video short and sweet, so the essence of successful trading really comes down to not trading. Knowing when to not take a trade or to scratch one that you're in. I'll never forget this quote by Mark Douglas, in his book that he wrote, the best traders he knew could tell if they were in an optimal state to trade and if they were not, they would scale back or not trade at all. The best words I can put to this is my aim is solely to eliminate the trades that I don't belong in. I could rant on the why and the how of this forever. Instead, I'll say this. For me, this is a mindset that is metered, patient, ambivalent to the money, balanced and unattached to the outcome. You have to find this state on your own and sometimes it requires not trading for a while or meditating at length for one plus hour a, a day. Perhaps going on a camping trip and detoxing from tech. I don't know how you'll find it, but you know it. You've lived it. It is the essence of who you are. So I know it when I'm in it. You will know it when you're in it. And if you're trading in it, your outcome will verify that you are in the right state. What you can do is look back at your individual trades. Look back at the ones you know you weren't supposed to be in or hold on to. Essentially, anywhere you made an error that deviated from your plan, then calculate your P&L as if those trades weren't in there. I guarantee, like mine, that P&L would be one you could take to the bank <laughs> or to the Lambo dealership if you're a simp. I mean, if, if you're watching my channel because you want a Lambo, please unsubscribe. There's, there can, that's scrub. That is scrub. That's not what this channel is about. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is to reclaim our birthright of freedom through our finances within this corrupted fiat game that we were born into as indentured servants and ultimately help those around us break free. So first become Neo, then become Morpheus <laughs> and start unplugging people from the matrix. And in order to do so, we must remember why and be motivated by those we love most. So this ain't the Lambo channel, as you can tell by my 100 subscribers. At the end of the day, I figure I'm just here as a reminder to the traders that are more advanced in their journey than me, and hopefully of some relatability and inspiration to those who aren't, 
who aren't there yet. Either way, stay balanced, my friends. Pieces. 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 Pieces.